Так, всем привет, с вами интернет-ресурс мегаобзор.ком и сегодня мы посетили а, стенд а, Ведьмака 3 Дикая Охота и берем сегодня интервью у Якуб Самалика, который является сценаристом данной игры и хотелось бы сразу спросить, на какой стадии находится сейчас игра, так как уже 19 мая она выйдет на свет и если есть еще какие-то доработки, то в каком направлении они ведутся? Okay, So the game is in a, in a pretty good state and uh, we moved the release state because we felt that uh, we have to take care of the bugs. So the, so the game had uh, a few bugs, uh, mostly gameplay-wise, and at this stage uh, it's mostly about optimizing the game. So making sure that it runs best on uh, all the platforms uh, and that the frame rate is good. So uh, other than that, it's, it's, it's really done. So uh, we, we are trying to make the game look as good as possible on each of the platforms uh, within the technical limitations and, and I, I personally think that the game looks pretty good on, on all the platforms but of course there are some slight differences. So uh, if you have the high-end PC and, and uh, you can turn on the ultra uh, graphics, you work over something and the hair works then of course it will look better uh, than uh, it does on, on the platforms uh, because PCs are basically, you know, developing uh, in, in a MacBook way, but they're also more expensive than, than, than the platforms. Uh, other than, than, than uh, that, there will be some slight differences. Uh, so for example, the Hairworks is only available on, on the PCs, uh, whereas there are some uh, small features on the platforms, that, uh, on the uh, consoles that are not accessible on, uh, on, on the PC. Uh, for example, on the PS4 we have the controller with the, with, with the light screen, so for example we can turn, turn the uh, light red to indicate danger, so th it's, it's small things, but uh, overall the content is the same on all the platforms. Okay, so, so we knew that there would be a lot of players who did not play the first two games, uh, partly because uh, The Witcher comes to a new, uh, to a new platform for PS4, uh, and uh, we worked for a long time on the prologue sequence uh, to make sure that it's as uh, easy going uh, and inviting for new players as possible. Uh, so it's slowly paced and, and uh, it, it makes sure that by the end of it you will know who witches are, who Geralt is specifically, who are his enemies and who are his friends. Um, so so uh, unlike uh, in The Witcher 2 where we basically threw the player in the midst of a, you know, a, a battle, uh, we, we, we take some time to establish the basics of the game and, uh, and I feel that people who have no idea who witches are can pick it up from the shelf and, and enjoy it. And uh, as, as additional help there is the, uh, a glossary in the game where you can uh, read about uh, characters uh, of the, if, if you want to find some extra information. And of course, we will be releasing a lot of uh, videos and other content online for our players who would like to know more about the lore of, of The Witcher uh, that will be uh, easily accessible. Well, I wouldn't quite call it parkour because uh, Geralt can, uh, you know, uh, climb and, 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 and uh, has more, much more freedom to explore, but, but it's not quite parkour, so you won't be, you know, uh, walking on the walls or jumping uh, out of great heights, but, uh, but there is a lot of ways in which you can explore the world of the Witcher. Uh, so there will be uh, horse riding, uh, you can sail boats, uh, you can dive and of course uh, climb and, and jump uh, over crevices or, or holes in the ground. So, uh, so in comparison with our, our previous game, uh, games, there's so much more freedom in terms of how we want to uh, explore the world. Um, so, actually the main storyline, I think you need about 50 hours to complete, so if you just stick to the main story and do no side activities, uh, I, I think you need a good few days to, to finish it. Um, of course, we do encourage you to try some of the side quests, because uh, unlike uh, some other games, we uh, make all the side quests with the passion and attention to detail that we uh, use in the main storyline. So, so they're handcrafted, we don't generate quests, it's never about uh, you know, going from place A to B uh, or killing 10 monsters and you know, bringing their heads back. It's always more complex and, and there's always something intriguing and interesting in a side quest. Uh, so if you, if you do both uh, side quests and the main storyline, then you can ex uh, ex uh, expect up to 100 hours or even more hours of, of gameplay. 
uh, for example, the, the prologue of the game, uh, if you do just the main storyline, it takes about two hours, hours and a half to complete, but if you do all the side activities, uh, it's uh, easily more, more than five hours. So there is a lot of content, uh, and uh, we encourage people to you know, uh, try it as much of it as possible. Um, no, there will be no multiplayer elements for, for The Witcher. Uh, we experimented with that a bit, but we felt that it's uh, about the single player experience and this is what we really want to focus on, so, yeah, just single player. Ну что ж, на этом, наверное, мы с вами попрощаемся, и мы сегодня успешно поиграли в Ведьмак 3 Дикая Охота, и очень нам понравилось. Подробности читайте в нашем обзоре текстовой части на сайте megabzor.com. И мы с вами прощаемся, подписывайтесь на наш канал, впереди еще очень много интересного. Всем спасибо и всем пока-пока.